Hello YouTube, it's me Wako. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am going to try it out a lot of ramen. If you remember my one of my last videos, it was about uh, a Japan ramen box over here. They sent me seven different ramens uh, to try it out. I only did an unboxing of each ramen, but I never had the chance to try them out literally so in today's video i'm going to try it out all the seven ramens and i will let you know how they taste if they're worth it and all the opinions are gonna be my own and i'm very excited because i've been wanting to try them out for a long time but i never had the chance to do it so let's go ahead here we have all the ramen they all look so yummy let's see so we are going to try it out this one, this one is the Meno Sunaochi Shio Ramen, it's a salt ramen. It says that it's a very traditional ramen in Japan, so we shall see. This is the ramen, looks pretty yummy. I don't know what's this actually, it seems like nori, right? Um, I think this is like maybe corn or something, or egg, yeah. We have different things over here. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> so hot. Ooh. I'm going to try first the soup. So let's see. I don't know how it tastes like. It's not bad. It's, com it's very different from the usual Marushan uh, noodles that I that I used to try. It's not that salty. I think it tastes a lot like um, naughty. That's what I think. Yep. It tastes more like uh, the naughty and a little bit of salt. And also it tastes like uh, seaweed. Uh, let's see how it actually tastes. Whoa. It's so smooth. Like, whoa. It's very... It's actually very light. It has a very light flavor. I really like the noodles. They're honestly very, very smooth. They taste a lot smoother compared to the 25 cents uh, ramen that you can find on the convenience store. Yeah. But it honestly, uh, tastes a lot like seaweed. Which is good. It's really different. Now we are going to try this one. This one is the Ramen Yasan Sapporo Miso Aji. This is a miso based ramen from Sapporo. This is the ramen. It's actually very plain looking. It didn't come with any uh, uh, flakes or anything like that. Let's see how it tastes. Actually, it tastes very plain, but you can feel the medium spice on the ramen. I okay only taste the, the spice. That's all. The ramen tastes plain. It tastes very similar to a 25 cents uh, chicken ramen. Um, the spice is not it's not that big, but you can feel it. Now we are going to try it out. This one over here. This is another from Nishin. This is Nishin Ramen Yasan Asahikawa Shoyu. This is a soy sauce based soup. This is how it looks. It's also a very plain looking um, ramen. Uh, it is also a Nishin one, just like the one that I showed you earlier. Let's see how it tastes. Wow, it's very different than the other one. Yep. It's a lot more rich in flavor compared to the other Nishin um, ramen. It tastes very good, like, it's a beef. I don't know, but it tastes good actually. Let's see the ramen. So hot! Wow! I don't know if it's me or the noodles are a little bit more thick. It tastes very good, actually. It doesn't come with any flakes or anything, but it actually has a lot of flavor. I really don't mind this one. I really like it. Now I'm going to try this one over here. This is the Menno Sunaochi. This is also another salt-based ramen. 
let's see. So we have it over here. It is very plain looking uh, ramen, but it also came with a little bit of few herbs. I don't know which herb is this one, but yep. <laughs> let's see how it tastes. The soup first. Uh, okay. I don't know if it's me or it tastes like a regular 25 cents ramen. The next one that we're going to try it out is Bukashi Nagarano Tonkotsu. Literally means good old Tonkotsu ramen. It, it says that it's very simple but rich and it's completely uh, hard to find. It doesn't say uh, what it tastes like, so let's see. You can see over here, it actually looks like it has a um, probably a sesame oil. It is very simple looking. They look very firmer compared to the ones that we showed earlier. It smells very strong. Wow. <laughs> this smells like, honestly, restaurant kind of ramen. Wow. The noodles are very uh, firm, even though they're very, very thin, and I don't feel like they have a lot of flavor. Uh, all the flavor is actually on the soup, not on the noodles. Now, the next one is a Marushan Ramen. Wow, it smells so strong. This one is Marushan Torigara Shioyu. This is a ramen with chicken broth soup with soy sauce flavor. Let's check it out. As you can see here, this ramen actually has some stuff. Um, here we have few kind of ingredients. Oh, we have a fish cake. Now that's new. And we have a seaweed. Cool. Uh, what else? I think this is a uh, chives. Um, this. What is this? I don't know what it is, but it kind of looks like ginger. But I am not sure. Let's see how it tastes. Well, <laughs> it honestly just tastes like the fish cake. It is strong, but like, it's good, I guess. Honestly, this tastes very fishy. It has a very strong uh, smell of fish, and it tastes like fish. I don't feel the other um, herbs, only fish. The taste of the ramen is very light or mild, but the flavor uh, and the smell of the fish is very overwhelming for me. Now for the last one. <laughs> Honestly, this one is the one that I've been very excited about because, I don't know, the bowl is very big. This one came with around five different bags of condiments, which was very insane. Came even with um, ham, which is insane. So let's see the ramen. This one is Ipudo Akamaru Tonkotsu Pork Base. This is a popular instant noodle from a famous ramen store in Japan, Ipudo. So uh, it says that if you're a Japanese ramen fan and travel to Japan, you might have heard about this restaurant. This instant noodle can be found only in 7 Eleven in Japan. So let's see. The best thing about this ramen is that it tastes pretty close to the one you eat at the restaurant. We shall see. As you can see here, it comes with a very precious, beautiful ham. I cut it in half because I'm gonna give the, the other half to my boyfriend. But yeah, you have it here. There were seasonings and also herbs, as you can see here. And the noodles actually looks pretty firm and faint too. Let's taste this out. Well, it's very strong. It tastes like uh, beef broth, uh, but very rich. Just like it said on the description, it's a very rich flavor. It tastes very good. It doesn't taste like a very plain uh, beef flavor. It has, it has more flavor than that. Yep. Let's taste the ramen. Yeah, these ramens are very firm. But this one actually compared to the one that it tastes like fish, this one uh, absorbs more the beef broth a lot better. Let's taste the ham. Well, yeah, it tastes good. 
actually very good. It also absorbs a lot of the of the soup flavors. It tastes very tender, even though it came dehydrated uh, in a pocket, which is very nice. It's it's actually very yummy. Yeah, it's very good. I really like this one. Okay, I finally tried all of the seven ramens. Finally. Uh, let's see, um, one of my favorite ramens, it was the 7-Eleven one. I, I guess that all the condiments and everything made this one taste a lot good and also it came with the pork and it felt very, very fancy. I don't know cause about the restaurant, I cannot compare it with the restaurant because I have never been to Japan, I wish. So I cannot compare it to that one. And I also really like the other one that has beef. Uh, because it also has a very rich flavor. I don't know which one is my favorite. I will say that uh, I just get the pork and I add it to this one and it will be perfect. But yeah, the other ones, they are not bad. They just feel like you need to put something um, besides the ramen because some of them really taste plain. Um, the fish one, I don't know what you can add to that one because it honestly just tastes like fish. So I don't know about that. But I think that the other ones, you can just add a little bit of ham, I guess a vegetable or just an egg or soy sauce to make it taste a lot more rich. But that is up to you. Um, so have you tried any of these ramens? Uh, what do you think about them? If you have any favorite ramen, let me know in the comment below. If you're a person that likes to try it out new ramen or new flavors, I think this is a very good choice. Also, this is something that you cannot find everywhere. So for me, it is very special because I've never been to Japan. I have never tried their ramen. So it feels nice to try it out things that are from Japan and kind of like be familiar with their foods and traditions. So for me, that's why it is very worth it. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comment below what you think about these ramen. And don't forget to also like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Do you think I should do more ramen taste video? I don't know. Let me know in the comment below. And thank you again for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.